Hello, my name is Darren Butler. I'm a junior at Flanders Smith College, and this is my research project, Beyond Right or Wrong, Designing User-Friendly Autograders from an Instructor's Model of Feedback. This project was a collaboration between myself as a student of Flanders Smith College in Little Rock, Arkansas, and Dr. Austin Quarry Bart at the University of Delaware. Uh, computer science is an ever-growing field with ever-growing applications, so class sizes are increasing. This, along with the fact that learning to program is difficult for most students, creates an overwhelming strain on instructors. Uh, fortunately, automatic, automatically generated feedback is a great way to support a lot of students with limited faculty resources. Also, computer science education researchers and professionals have developed tools to support learning through the feedback process. Uh, one example is Pedal, an API developed by Dr. Bart to simplify developing and delivering auto-graded feedback for instructors. However, problem, problems still remain. Uh, the problem is, despite the benefits, instructors have not widely adopted these tools and they struggle to use them. If auto-graders are so awesome, why aren't people using them? Turns out it's hard to get instructors to adopt tools, but there are definite efforts to adopt these tools, so we need to start asking if instructors are conceptually ready to leverage them. Now, there's some important background from previous literature for the study. Uh, first, feedback is a critical part of learning and has been well studied in education. There have been models to help us think about it. Uh, Auto graders can be viewed as more than just unit testing. They are a collection of tools and methods. Uh, to solve this problem, we need to design more user-friendly autograders. To do so, we need to ask, how should autograders be designed to make it easy for instructors to create uh, automatic feedback for programming problems at varying levels of complexity, which gave us uh, our additional research questions, such as how the professors model their feedback, how do they know which feedback is working, how can we make it easier for instructors to adopt autograders considering the possible roadblocks and benefits they may experience. Uh, I designed a study in which I interviewed seven computer science instructors at the University of Delaware and asked them questions around how they construct, deliver, and determine the effectiveness of their feedback and the roadblocks and benefits they have seen in using autograders. Uh, as for the methodology, I developed a semi-structured interview protocol that explored how instructors mentally model and deliver feedback to students, um, how they experience and perceive autograders, uh, for example. Uh, which in gen which resulted in questions such as how do you design your programming assignments? Now the interview progress interview process interview protocol was uh, refined throughout the entire interview process, and uh, instruct and included an exercise where instructors delivered feedback to sample student code. Uh, now after analyzing those, uh, after analyzing the interviews and the feedback artifacts. I discovered uh, roadblocks, desires, and feedback concept models of instructors. Uh, in our results, we can connect those to certain parts of the feedback process. Now, when a student is writing their code, an instructor wants a student to be able to do so in a, a one fully um, integrated system. Uh, but the difficulty that they face, the difficulty that they face, is the following: how student is how a student is solving that problem. As for when the student is submitting code, instructors want to evaluate the code quality, the student written tests with multiple le uh, levels of testing. Now, as for autograders, uh, professors uh, have a challenge in the sense that uh, when they're writing an autograder script, it is time consuming to give custom feedback. It is also hard to translate paper assignments to autograders. Um, there's also a steep learning curve as well as on troubleshooting issues. Now, from all the results that we gathered, uh, we came to some conclusions about uh, how future autograders and autograding APIs should be designed. Now, we suggest uh, from these results that autograders should aggregate data from student submissions to identify trends in misconceptions, uh, check for proper code structure, um, assess for code quality, suggest a feedback model for professors. Uh, instance that we recommend the narcissist, uh, non the narcissist categories for feedback, uh, which is from a pretty established paper on this topic. Uh, we also suggest that the auto grade, that the that there is clean documentation provided for instructors and a 
um, integrated system for students to write, submit, uh, code, and receive feedback. Uh, thank you for watching my presentation, and I welcome any questions you may have.